Hey there guys, what is going on? We are jumping into another best class setup in Modern Warfare video. Not Warzone, not Cold War, Modern Warfare today. I think you could probably still run this in Warzone and have an okay time, but this is all about Modern Warfare here. Do love jumping into Modern Warfare occasionally and having a mess around with some of the guns that they are adding to this game still. We are of course looking at a single sick of class setup here, which is just ridiculous, man. I think we normally would want to be running two of them, but having one of them is still a very powerful option. They did add those most recent nerfs in one of the updates very, very recently where they did add a lot, a lot of nerfs to this gun. Single sick of fully automatic pistol, 80 round mag, still absolutely ridiculous. This is basically a mini AS Val, a lot of fun to run around with this thing. But just before we do get into it here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. Of course, there is a lot of content coming up in Cold War Season 3 as well as in Warzone, so make sure you don't miss out on any of that. We're going to be covering a lot of it, hopefully, then. So let's just jump straight into it here. There's a lot to talk about with this class setup because it is a lot of fun to run around with this thing. It's not the most effective weapon in the world because you're going to be competing with SMGs and assault rifles for the most part, but it's still a lot of fun to use this thing. So our primary here is, of course, the riot shield, basically being absolutely toxic as hell here, man. Just running around with this thing, just being like, nope, you can't shoot me is excellent fun. So that is our primary weapon here. Of course, the secondary that we are going for is the Sicko. We'll talk about that in just a second. In the perks, we are going for EOD, Ghost, and Tracker here. EOD for that explosive resistance, Ghost for staying off of the UAVs, and of course, Tracker for seeing those enemy footprints on the ground and being able to follow them and get easy kills. Lethal slot, we are going with the Simtex here because being able to just chuck it at someone and stick it to them is really powerful. And then we are going with the Stim Shot in the tactical slot because it is a very powerful option to continue many gunfights here. But a stun grenade or a flash grenade will work just as well. So as for the attachments on the sick off here, no Akimbo variety here today. We're not running any perks or anything like that. We are just running one of these bad boys and it is still a very powerful weapon in this game. So we are taking the monolithic suppressor up here first, that sound suppression and damage range as well as a little increase to our bullet velocity is a fantastic place to start with this class setup. Then we move to the Sorokin 114mm auto barrel for that fully auto, <laughs> fully auto pistol, man. I just can't get over it. And the fire rate increase is very, very nice here as well. You do combine this with the PP Carabin for that recoil control, aim walking steadiness and aiming stability. Of course, this does reduce your aim down sight speed and aim walking movement speed. So we take for the aim down sight speed, the VLK Priz Rack for the aim down sight speed, of course, and the sprint to fire speed increases. And then of course, because you do want 80 rounds in the magazine, you just got to have the 80 round drums. It's absolutely ridiculous. So we only have one of these pistols. We don't have any akimbo or anything like that as it does reduce the hit fire accuracy and other things that I can't remember off the top of my head. But having one sick of is still very powerful. It is basically like a mini AS valve. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in the gameplay. This thing is a lot of fun to run around with, and we're just going to jump into it here. So as you could probably expect, this sick of, as we have spoken about previously this week, is absolutely broken. But we've mostly been talking about the Akimbo one. That's with two. I mean, just having one of them is pretty ridiculous enough. Like, this thing is just so, so dumb, man. We just got killed by it there, and you can pretty much see... Anybody does walk into the old sites there... <laughs> And that is why Raven did decide to nerf this in Warzone. Like, basically, it's just... It's simply put, it's too much. <laughs> Can you not do that? Please just walk up behind me and start shooting me. And that's probably a good thing with this, because just being able to sprint around everywhere like you're an absolute madman with this thing is just probably a little too much. 80 rounds is... It's a lot for a pistol, as well as that full auto. So, basically, if we can get into positions... And just, you don't, you're not really going to be racing around with this thing. You have to play with it more like an SMG style, as you might probably expect with this thing. You get some shots off, you're doing work here, man. This thing is so goofy. Want to reload? Take a little while, but it's okay. We'll use the right shield here. We'll have a little peeky. <laughs> All right, we outplayed that, man, completely. That was excellent play there. But I mean, just a sick of, man. It's so much fun to run around with this thing, even if it is a little bit worse than it used to be, even if it is or did get nerfed in the most recent patch. Like, it's still fun to run around with this thing. It's just so goofy. Like, when they put this thing in the game, they were clearly like, yeah, this is this is going to break the game for a while, so we should probably try and fix it, like, straight away. So, I think the nerfs actually did apply to Modern Warfare as well, which is always a good thing. Being able to have this pistol and just sprint around everywhere was not a good thing, so... It's good that they nerfed this. But I just love the idea. I just love the idea of having this 80 round pistol that's like fully automatic, has an 800 rounds per minute fire rate. Somebody described it as basically a mini AS valve, which I completely agree with. Like, it is basically as difficult to control as the AS valve, which is not super tough, but it's not really easy, so... It's basically a fair comparison here. Mini AS Val. Look at this thing. Just like even the iron sights look kind of similar. Look at that, man. Just... 
<laughs> Look at this. The recoil control is pretty easy. Like, it's pretty... All you have to do is basically just pull down and it gets the job done. So it's fairly easy to control. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a guy coming up the stairs here somewhere. No, I think we're actually okay. And the VTOL pissed off as well. So that's good. Now we can actually play the game again. Use a right shield to peek around the corner. Anything specific happening? Not really. Let's move up. I expect there'd be a lot of boys down this end of the map. Not sure why we're playing Modern Warfare again when we could be doing this in Warzone, but this is a lot of fun still. A lot of fun still. I'm still... Ooh. Okay, let's... Uh, uh, I don't know what to make of that. Uh, let's have a look. Little peeky. Oh, they're all dead. Good. <laughs> Good work, team. And I like when they go a little bit wild with their sort of additions to these games. Like, I like when they go a little bit crazy. As long as things aren't too broken, they always rein them in slightly. If we go back over this way, we should be able to get that guy. Should be able to get that guy as well. And we're on our way again. Man. Man. Oof. I am, of course, very, very excited for all the Season 3 content that is coming out. I believe tomorrow the Battle Pass does end in about an, a day and four hours, I think, from what I read. So the update is dropping tomorrow, which is also very, very exciting. So keep that in mind when we are thinking about this. I mean, there is a lot of balance changes coming to Cold War and stuff as well with all the content that's getting added. We're getting new guns, new maps, all this other lovely stuff. So keep that in mind. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of that upcoming content because there's a lot of stuff for me to cover. There's balance changes, they list out a little balance changes that they are planning on doing in Cold War, so we'll list that on screen right now. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I did see the FFAR, I did see the Creek 6, so there's a lot of good guns on there that we can actually, like, take a look at and make videos on, but this thing is just, oh, I love it. I love it, man. This very much reminds me of when they did add, like, Dragon's Breath to a lot of the shotguns in Modern Warfare slash Warzone. It's a bit like, now, why would they do that? But it was a lot of fun to run around with, I mean... It got stale after a while, like it got stale pretty quick with a lot of the fire shotguns being absolutely broken in Warzone, like the R90 shotgun, that was the worst meta for a while. So that is something that is interesting, but I do like when they do take things a little far and then rein it back in, because there's a lot of fun to run around with for at least a little while. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Okay. Uh, there should be a couple of boys in here, we were right about that, that's good. The fact that this thing just competes up close with SMGs, has a bigger magazine than most of them a lot of the time, is just... <laughs> it just makes me roll my eyes every time I think about the thing like I mean obviously it is a lot worse as we are getting taken out by the SMGs that a lot of these boys are carrying around but still man it's it's fun like it's just so much fun and it's good to play modern warfare again it's still a little bit of fun to mess around with in sometimes it's good to unlock weapons for warzone very very easy stuff to get these challenges and everything done so it's always fun to run around with something in modern warfare for a little while but cold war is where we are at you know no, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, there should be some boys here. There should be some boys with the pistol rays. We're ready to... Okay, are you... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, we got the assist there. They, were, they all ran away from the pistol, man. They all ran away from the sickle. They knew what was going to happen. They saw the future. They knew what was in it for them. He's going to come out here. Classic. Read you like a book there, champ. Read you like a book. I knew it was exactly what was going to happen there. Was there, a, was there a guy? There was a guy there, but that's okay. Let's keep moving. we still got 49 bullets in the mag, so we don't really have to reload just yet. Come on. Come on. All right, we got the assist there. That's a little lame, but it is what it is. We we managed to do okay. Let's going to peek out with the shield again. Ooh, got a headshot on that guy. That feels very, very good, man. <laughs> this thing's just so much fun. I want to reload. We're going to push a little bit aggressively here because the game is ending and we want to get a couple more kills before the game's over. Oh, we did it. Good job. Alrighty, we're going to have our final thoughts on this thing in just a second here because the single sick of, just one of them, the pistol is still a lot of fun to run around with. It's very, very good still in Modern Warfare and I believe it's still pretty powerful in Warzone. They did, of course, nerf it recently, so it's still okay, but it is definitely worse than it was previously, but that's how it has to be. So as you saw there, this class setup is not only pretty good, it's also very dumb and it is a lot of fun to run around with. I think you'd be able to get away with running this in close quarters engagements in Warzone. Just having a single sickle would be pretty effective. Probably not as effective as having two of them, but they did add those most recent nerfs, adding like different accuracies and things to the sickle of akimbo pistols. So they're not as powerful as they were previously, but they are still pretty fun to run around with. It's just such a goofy option in this game and I just love it here. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this one. I do massively appreciate it, of course. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. And of course, I will see you in the next video. Bye!